So the birth incidence of, of myelomeningocele is really uh, 0.1 to 0.2%. Um, there's a big uh, movement now, and it's really wonderful about just really primary prevention of open neural tube defects and fortification of uh, really all, all diets across the world with uh, folic acid or folate has provided a significant reduction in the number of open neural tube defects, specifically, specifically myelomeningocele that we're seeing. And the recommended uh, daily allowance for women of childbearing age is 400 micrograms per day. Should be noted and, and definitely uh, something to think about in counseling is that the risk of myelomeningocele is increased uh, to almost 3% if there's a history of a previous child born with an open myelomeningocele as well. So when we talk about the embryological origin of this, again, just kind of speaking in gen generalities, the, the neural plates uh, fail to fold and fuse into the neural tube, and it remains as a flat tissue plate called the neural placode. The placode is inter posed between this superficial cutaneous ectoderm, which really can't meet in the midline, and the mesenchymal elements, which typically act as a barrier and protectant both structurally and physically, are not present. So the bone, the cartilage, the muscle, they're unable to migrate because they're not getting the correct signals and they're subsequently absent. So interestingly enough, the exposed dorsal surface is the interior of the spinal cord because of that flat nature of it. And I'll show you this in a cartoon. The exact embryological cause is really multifactorial, likely due to multiple uh, uh, factors, environmental, genetic, potentially. And so we don't exactly have the answer to this. But when we look at a cartoon and, and kind of display this, this is a really a wonderful cartoon here. You can see this is a surgical cartoon indicating the scissors and, and a knife here, but this is the neural placode and you can see that it's flat and this outer surface that's exposed to the, to the world is the inner surface of the spinal cord. And so you can see these plates, uh, this, this neural plate has not folded properly to, to form a tube. These are nerve roots and they may be normal, they may be dysplastic, we're, 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 we're not quite sure. Um, and you can see there's absence of the normal bony structures. The vertebrae ends really in the pedicle here. There's no articular pillars. There's no facet joints. Uh, you can see that there's an absence of cartilage and the muscle is, is atrophic in this area as well. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.